I think it's interesting to think about what would artificial intelligence and AI bring to medicine. As someone who has done research in artificial intelligence and particular application, have always believed that AI is one of the most exciting tools that we now have on our disposal. And what we really tried to do through our work of use of artificial intelligence is bring some level of certainty into this big uncertainty about what happens after surgery, especially for patients who may be at the risk of having more complicated events after surgery. What we do is we quantify the probability of having the complication after surgery, and we also provide for your physician comparison to patients like you. In another way, we wanna not only say in abstract way, what's the probability of you as example going to ICU, but also how do you compare to patients who might be similar to you in terms of what type of surgery he or she had, similar comorbidities, similar educational background, similar neighborhood characteristics, and so on. All of these factors actually determine your risk interestingly. Artificial intelligence algorithms are highly efficient in the sense that they can make computations in milliseconds that might take a human with a calculator uh, several minutes or hours to perform, especially if it's for an entire data set. And so we don't see artificial intelligence as a way to replace the human decision-making process. We see it as a way to augment that decision-making process by instantaneously gathering all that data, running it through an algorithm that produces a highly precise and accurate output. And then the clinician, the nurse or the doctor on the other side, can, can take that information and integrate it with what they're already thinking, what they already know about the patient, and perhaps make a better decision than they would have if they were unaided by the algorithm. In the next decade of medicine, technology is going to be partner. And we will need physicians who can dream new solutions and have a capacity to understand how technology can deliver them. I'm hoping that we open the conversation between physicians and patients and, and creators of algorithms on how all of these tools eventually will serve humanity and how will they serve patients who will be in the center and provider who will be in the center and make our entire system more resilient and more human-centered.